Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It's the 18th of February, 2021. Okay, so being the observer that I am, I have been noticing on certain platforms. I don't like to spend a lot of time on, on them, but I also on YouTube and things of that nature, right? And I've been hearing a, a certain saying, <clears throat> actually not just one saying, but certain sayings that we have been programmed, right, to say, okay, such as, there's no chance in hell that that's going to happen. Think about that. Where did that come from? How about to hell with it? Right? Or snowball chance in hell, right? Or love like hell. <laughs> so all of these, not all of, well, yeah, these sayings that we grew up with, right? Where did they come from? Who, who orchestrated, who originated to hell with that? I get what it says and what it means, but why are we utilizing the word health so effortlessly? And I, it just, it just, as I've been observing over the past, I don't know, I've been, I always meditate and write down things in my journal, but this was more over the course of maybe, I don't know, I don't know, say six months. As an observer, I've been very alert to the way that we utilize language. And those are just a few of the extreme language barriers that we just we say without even thinking. So think about the impact that that has all these years of saying, you know, there's no chance in hell to hell with that. I'm sure there's others, but this is the, a few that I picked up over the last six months that I wrote in my notes. So watch, we are so programmed to be on autopilot, which is sleep mode. So let's wake up and be mindful of how we speak out into the world, what we say, you know, and how that impacts one's life, right? You don't even think that it does, but it really does. It's the same thing as watching new news that is completely negative. It's the same thing. So that's why I emphasize the importance of what you speak, all your senses, right? Speaking, hearing, feeling, visual, visualizing what you see, what you hear, what you taste, what you smell. Everything has to be on the highest vibration. So when we are in the throes of raising our vibration, it's that kind of on autopilot that we really need to, to be more cognizant of. All right, let's see the general reading for today. Free yourself, change your perspective. Look at things from a different viewpoint, vantage point. Look at this guy's upside down. He's hanging in the throes right? And, and eloquently, I might add, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, turn yourself upside down. Same thing as what we talked about. Left brain, right brain, change it up. We're too on too much on autopilot. And we stay in one, we stay in one 
vibration of monotone where we're not looking at different perspectives and how they affect our day to day. Be like a kid. You, you and I both know that we're not going to enter into the gates of heaven unless we're childlike. Now, of course, we're not. And that's not what I'm saying. But be more childlike. Kids are childlike because they're not so stringent upon, you know, first of all, they do hear what the parents say or other adults say, you know, and they mimic that. So are you aware of that? Are you, you know, transformation here with, with these beautiful butterflies? Transform the way that you completely transform yourself. It's kind of like we've cleaned the slate now, or we're getting, we're doing that. We're getting there. We're working on it. It's a, it's, it's work in progress. But if you're mindful, if you're aware, if you're in tune, which all of you are, then change your perspective. Do something different. Do something different that is going to get out of your comfort zone of autopilot. Kids don't think like that. Kids are always doing create, creative things. Kids are always thinking up new concoctions for, you know, jump rope and, you know, um, hopscotch. I mean, really. My most memorable, well, not my most, because every minute with my daughter is memorable, but my most memorable fun times was my ability to observe her just doing whatever, but not being on autopilot, being creative, right? Electric razors, jumping, swinging, the parks, hiking. Those are things that children automatically are in tune with. They just, they just play. This is just complete releasing and play. Have fun. We've got to change our ways. We can't go back to that. We can't go back to this. Right? We don't want to go back to that. So many people have this have this shield up, this guarded shield of armor that they they are so stringent and oh my god, we have to do it this way and this and this and this, you know? Right? And the hardest part of my journey, <laughs> I don't even believe I'm going to say this, was, I mean, I enjoyed being a PTA mom, but I'm more a bad mom. <laughs> I don't follow the rules. I'm a rebel, but my child grew up just fine, thinking in her own way, allowing her to spread her wings and fly. I'm not saying I'm the best mom in the world, and I don't claim to be. But what I'm saying is I allowed her to be herself and I did not agree with some of the parents who didn't want to tell their kids certain things because they didn't want their kids to get like into drugs or whatever. It's like, what are you kidding me? You got to tell them so that they understand that through your experience, they are learning from. Of course, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. But if you can prevent and make children aware, children are more aware than we are. You know that. Children can play with a dollhouse for hours, just like a lot of people watch TV for hours or on YouTube, social media for hours, right? It's a different play though, isn't it? I'm going off. It is about family today. It really is. It's about how you enact certain things, how you react to certain things, how you observe certain things, how you learn certain things. Be like the children. Be curious. 
No, curiosity did not kill the cat. <laughs> I mean, seriously. What you teach your children is what you have learned. What is that? That's autopilot. Everything that we have been taught is learned behavior. So change it. We are now adults. Now it's time to look at the children and learn from them how to be curious about life, how to live a full life. Kids are always curious. How does this work? How does that work? Well, why is this this, why is this, this way? Why is that that way? There's a reason for that. And then we instill what we were taught to the best of our ability, because we didn't know any better, but now that we do and we are evolving, it is imperative that you change your perspective so that you can teach the children, your children or others, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a PTA mom or not, whatever, you know what I mean. So work on it. Work on yourself. Be aware of how you, of how, I'll just close these up a little. Be aware, be curious, be playful. That's all this is here. Don't, I mean, I mean, it, it, I shouldn't say don't. I don't like to say don't. Um, try to be more aware of the way you speak. Try to be more aware of your surroundings. Be more curious as to, well, like, like, just like this. Curious about why do we always use the word hell? It's learned behavior. It's learned language. Learned from since the day we were, you know, we came onto the planet, right? But we can change that. And that's what spirit's wanting us to do. Change it. Look at the road differently. Look at how the animals act. And now my printer's going. So that's confirmation. Thank you, spirit. Take the road of your own travels. May pave the way, pave your own road. Don't follow the norm. Most, most definitely, those who are on a spiritual path were most likely the black sheep of the family. Yeah, it was me. Again, I didn't send anything to the printer. <laughs> Just saying. No idea what it is doing. Probably initializing. But still, make Pave your, that new road for yourself. Otherwise, you are going to always feel like this instead of this. Use your energy wisely. This is all energy. Use your energy to pave the way for yourself and for those who are coming after us. And again, family. You see how family is the most important thing because we're all connected. So understand that. Okay. Let's take one of these beautiful oracle cards today. The threads of faith. Right? March readings are going to be uploaded shortly like over the weekend, okay? This month, all of the March readings, I must admit, I must admit, all the March readings are, are very, are so much lighter. There's only two signs that was a little rough. It was like a kind of rough patch. 
Okay, let's get one card for the thread, the for the for for the reading today. In threads of fate, be the strength. Rebuild your foundation. Rebuild it. Rebuild from the ground up. Everything that you've been taught, everything that you once believed is changing now. And all of you are part of this change. All of us, we're all together. Okay? Ask your body, right? Well, what does that mean? Of course. How do you speak? How? What do you see? What do you watch? What do you l allow yourself to hear? from others, you know what I mean. You're rebuilding a whole new mind, body, and soul here. That's what that is, one more. And take a risk, be curious, take the risk. Take the risk to be, and I took these because of black sheep, <laughs> the black sheep of the family as I, I was, I am. I shouldn't say I was, I am. I'm the rebel, and all of you are very much rebel also, Re rebel-esque. <laughs> Why? Because we're not going, we're going against the grain. Now we're asking questions. Now we want to know. Now we want to change this path that we're on. The path that we're on, be aware. Don't be unaware. Unawareness is the ignorance that you just go day by day, same thing, autopilot. This is fear. This is enlightenment. Make your own path. Make your own rules. And don't, you don't have to. I've noticed, see, I noticed that. Why? I noticed that because I'm aware and I'm sure that's what it was done for, it happened for. Not needing to say don't. It's not even a, it doesn't even sound good. Don't. <laughs> anyway, some of you might say I have too much time on my hands, but no, I do observe and I'm very much witnessing how it's time for all of us right now to change for the sake of the union of what we are all in this together, from one family to another family, right? Just rebuild, start rebuilding now. If you hear something and you're like, wow, that, I don't really like the way that sounds. That's how it starts. Have a great day.